Ok. Uh, so, uh, uh, let's speak a, a little bit about uh, cold plasmas and river gases. Uh, the, <clears throat> the spatial extent of highly excited Rydberg atoms exceeds the size of ground state atoms by orders of magnitudes. Uh, such a large excursion of the Rydberg electron imply very long lifetimes, uh, high uh, susceptibilities to external fields and strong interactions between the atoms. In addition, uh, the low temperatures achievable in the laser-cooled gases render uh, thermal motion uh, negligible uh, on all relevant timescales. Such a frozen Rydberg gas hence uh, have a very much like an amorphous solid rather than a gas, with a dynamic solely governed by the strong Rydberg Rydberg atom interactions. Occurring, uh, of, uh, occurring of secondary radiation uh, collisional processes in cold media uh, uh, leads to mixing of quantum states that can cause uncontrolled. Um, a disturbance of primary state selectivity. For example, uh, a cold gas of Rydberg atoms having the number density of 10 to uh, the power of 10 in a cubic centimeter and initially excited to states with the principal quantum number 50 suffers a spontaneous evolution to a cold plasma at time scale of 150 nanoseconds. This uh, evolution is accompanied with uh, a distribution of the excitation energy between Rydberg states, resulting in formation of asymmetric atomic pairs with wide spectrum of quantum numbers. The experimental data indicate the presence of a contribution from ionizing collisions involving Rydberg atoms. It should be noted the specificity of collisional reactions under conditions of ultra-cold Rydberg media, when a characteristic experimental observation times, several microseconds, the nuclear distances unable to vary significantly. Uh, applications. Uh, no, we can. Uh, uh, it's very important to control uh, atomic states uh, in uh, Rydberg atoms and uh, hold Rydberg atoms uh, um, appears to be promising physical objects for quantum uh, information processing. And that states are relatively easily controlled by long range interaction dipole forces. So uh, it's important uh, also for uh, several experiments to avoid Doppler effects and so on. A uh, little bit about important process uh, uh, I speak about today uh, is uh, penning ionization. Uh, we, we, we can see it uh, here in the slide. Uh, a visual, visual, uh, visual picture. The reaction uh, rates caused by long-range interactions such as the pole, the pole, and van der Waals are determined by the corresponding optimization widths uh, of the quasi-molecular A plus B, which is composed by the frozen coupling particles A and B. The most important atomic uh, binary processes that contribute to the interatomic ionizations are associative ionization and penning uh, mechanisms. Excuse me, it, it seems that we don't see the whole screen. So maybe you can uh, minimize this percentage on the left lower corner. Okay. So that is full screen. No, no, yes. So, it's okay? Yes, now we see. Mm -hmm. So, uh, pinning ionization uh, long range process is enabled by the dipole-dipole interactions between atoms 
spatially well separated at large distances. <clears throat> So next slide uh, is a uh, energy level diagram where we see the panning ionization process. Do it a long uh, range dipole dipole, dipole interaction on a uh, uh, D atom uh, right undergoes a transition from D state to deeper bond state. While the other uh, I atom ionize, ion, ionizing atom Gains the released energy and jumps from an E state to the continuum. The most efficient ionization occurs when uh, the I atom hits threshold energy, because then at the threshold energy are the largest ionization cross sections. Uh, so to calculate uh, effectivity of uh, out, uh, uh, ioniz pending ionization processes, we need to calculate autonization widths. So uh, for autonization widths, uh, we need to know um, first reduced dipole matrix elements, radial elements for day transitions, and um, and the photonization cross section for I atom. Uh, further, we can calculate also if you know uh, autonization widths, we can calculate uh, um, pinning ionization cross sections and uh, corresponding rate constants using uh, dipole dipole approximation for large internuclear distances. Uh, for uh, for um, radial matrix elements, we use uh, semi-classical formulas uh, expressed via area functions. So we can easily calculate uh, without, uh, uh, without uh, using um, Schrodinger equations. And we can compare uh, semi-classical formulas accuracy here and we see that um, quantum mechanical calculation solid lines and or semi-classical calculation dashed lines are uh, well uh, agree uh, between um, well agree for uh, hydrogen uh, sodium and rubidium atoms Uh, let's talk uh, a little bit about uh, symmetric uh, panning ionization processes when N i and N d quantum numbers are equal. Uh, the results obtained uh, uh, earlier showed that the cold Rydberg gas in uh, of rubidium atoms excited in, in identical states. Uh, Corresponding penalization widths uh, of symmetric atom pairs do not exceed 10. Um, 10. This is significantly lower than the uh, characteristic values of the rate constant, uh, 1000 for ionization by black body radiation. So symmetrical processes are not influencing ionization uh, sig significantly. So we can also examine uh, what will happen if, 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 we, um, if we analyze this asymmetric penning ionization processes when NE and ND is not equal. Compared to symmetric pairs, this situation changes radically in the case of asymmetric pairs, NE uh, greater than ND for each fixed value and E of the ionizing atom, there is optimal value of pair uh, and D uh, small, much smaller than an E. The exciting D atom resulting in the maximum atomization with, with value uh, G of the atomic pair. In the model problem of hydrogen atom, which was the main subject of our research uh, earlier, uh, we uh, derived analytical formulas 
for um, hydrogen atom. And later we demonstrate in particular that uh, in the case of alkali metal atoms, such as lithium, non sodium and rubidium, the efficiency of pinning ionization processes may ex exceed that for hydrogen atoms in five times, provided the difference uh, of quantum uh, defect uh, of the uh, agent uh, atomic series uh, is half integer. Um, and uh, here we see optimal power conditions um, based, on, based on the uh, optimization with maximum conditions. Penning ionization is most effective if the photonization cross section has maximum. The photonization cross section has maximum uh, threshold value. And the uh, second condition is that the atom undergoes the transition from initial state to a deeper uh, adjacent uh, bound state. So we can see left energy corresponding to the D atom transition from the initial state to the nearest low lying state. And the uh, right is binding energy of the ionizing atom. Uh, we call it uh, Tom and Jerry. Tom is uh, greater than Jerry. And uh, uh, in the next slide, we calculate uh, for lithium as examples for SS and SP pairs. In this figure we see optimization weights for penning ionization uh, shown uh, is how the optimization uh, width of these pairs depends on the principal quantum numbers N, E and D of in interacting atoms. The black area corresponds to small values and the white area to large uh, optimization widths. Uh, the fall of the peaks in SS is caused by the anomalously small values of organization cross sections of lithium SS states. Next slide we see for pinning ionization for SS pairs. Uh, a little bit different graph. Um, in the figure we see how the ionization width depends on the quantum numbers for SS pairs of sodium, lithium, potassium and hydrogen at a fixed quantum number of the ionizing atom at 50. We can see the maximum uh, is somewhere around 15 and 17. As I decide, this is due to the fact that the largest uh, optimization widths are when the atom is ionized corresponding optimal power conditions. Oh, you have three minutes left. Yes. Uh, and um, uh, I can show also uh, a little bit more. So here we, we can see table with um, um, corresponding values. And we can see that the um, optimal uh, optimization widths are much greater than um, for uh, symmetric pairs. For rubidium, as example, it's 500 times. So we also calculate for uh, sodium SP pairs. Um, also, we can see that optimal pairs are greater than symmetric uh, optimization widths. Uh, a thousand times. And uh, oscillations uh, we can see here in graph uh, is due to um, discrete uh, quantum numbers and unequal um, intervals between quantum states. In the next slide, we see for rubidium atom pair states, we have see doublet because of uh, transition to transition to uh, double transition to uh, two orbital quantum numbers, zero and two. And uh, for sodium atom PP pairs, <clears throat> irregularity is because of uh, um, similarly uh, competition between the indicated pending ionization S and D channels, the presented um, figure. And here is our analytical expressions. Uh, <clears throat> we also made calculations and compared 
put analytical uh, expressions. Table of parameters for this uh, solid line is analytical expression and uh, uh, zigzag line is or uh, numerical calculations. And uh, we also can compare with black body radiation. Um, uh, in some point, we can see that uh, penguinization uh, ionization rate is greater than uh, even uh, black body radiation at some point. So, no, in, in conclusion, uh, so as I told, yeah, we, we can see uh, um, uh, oscillations in variation attributed to change in spacing between the adjacent and the uh, Rydberg levels. Uh, we also drive uh, um, asymmetric uh, power conditions uh, for maximum eff efficiency. Uh, and compared it to uh, different uh, alkali atom metal pairs uh, uh, that shows drastic dependence for, for dependence on the orbital quantum numbers of Rydberg atoms and the quantum defects. So I think then I will uh, end this presentation. Uh, thank you for attention. Okay, thank you for your presentation. We have one question in the chat. Uh, from director of Inna Plasma Tech from Russia, Petroskaya. Uh, question is, are there any specific industry implementations, for example, quantum computers, quantum optics, or many other directions for applying your calculations? And the second question, do you collaborate with teams working on specific implementations for your calculations? No, no, we we don't work uh, with specific teams. Uh, this is uh, uh, one of, of one of our tasks in our project. We we uh, the second our tema is uh, outlet towns effect, and um, uh, we uh, to 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 do experiments. Uh, we need cold Rydberg gases uh, to exclude, uh, as example, Doppler effects and other effects. So uh, uh, we need um, controlled quantum states to selectively, selectively um, excite uh, Rydberg atoms. Um, so the uh, important condition for it is stable Rydberg atom. So we need to uh, research uh, uh, what processes uh, influences uh, cold uh, Rydberg atoms. Okay, I can comment on these questions that you uh, are collaborating also with groups from Russia, like St. Petersburg. So also, yeah, of course, uh, yeah, we collaborate with Nikolai Bezuglov uh, from St. Petersburg, and uh, also the D for ten years, uh, more than ten years. We 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 are working uh, in this topic. Okay, and, and so understand that those who are working with this topic and in uh, proposals and publications, they write that applications can be in quantum computers and quantum optics, but uh, this group directly doesn't work with that, but other groups who use these results uh, work in this direction. So thank you for your presentation.